Meanwhile, in Barry County, a private school's fundraiser that has several guns as part of a raffle is stirring up controversy. News 8's Megan Bunchman spoke to organizers about this event, and she joins us now with what they have to say. Megan? Emily and Sue, in May, Barry County Christian School will hold its third annual sporting clay shoot fundraiser, but not everyone is happy about it. As conversations continue across the nation over gun laws and gun rights, they do not belong in our schools. One West Michigan Christian school is under fire, all because of an upcoming fundraiser that will auction off eight guns ranging from a custom AR-15 to a Remington 870. It's a question actually we've, we've faced uh, several times. Uh, the reality is responsible gun ownership, responsibility with guns should be part of the educational process that the old man passes on to the next generation. Barry County Christian's so executive director, school. Brandon Strong, sure says the fundraiser at Caledonia Sportsman Club is not only safe, it also promotes responsible gun ownership. The reality is, like, we've got a lot of people that love to hunt and love to um, compete against each other. Still, some have taken to social media to express their concern or outright objection to the raffle itself. One who wished to remain anonymous told us, quote, it is very inappropriate appropriate for a school to have this type of fundraiser regardless of who's doing it. Another person posted on Facebook saying, really? A Christian school supporting gun ownership? How sad. We've got a, a an awesome gun board. Um, there's a custom AR-15 uh, made by a shop um, not too far from here. Um, We've got a couple of handguns, uh, a couple shotguns, just kind of there's a variety of stuff for everybody. In years past, the event has raised more than $20,000 for the school, which then goes to supplement tuition for families in need. We allow people of any kind of socioeconomic background to attend our school, and, and about 35% of those don't pay full price. So this event is really about being able to allow kids that maybe couldn't afford private Christian education to be able to afford it. While Strong stands behind the school's decision to raffle off guns, he understands some people may not be comfortable with it. You're not gonna just be able to walk in here and carry a handgun home that you want it at a raffle. None of the auction guns listed will be on site for the May 6th fundraiser. Winners will still need to go to a gun dealer and clear a background check before retrieving their winning items. People want to win things that they're interested in, and there seems like there's a lot of people that are interested in winning guns and, and shooting guns and doing it safely, respectfully, and responsibly. Now, there are other items that will also be raffled off on that event on May 6th. Strong says raffle ticket owners do not need to be present to win those guns. Sue.